What's up, YouTube? This is my Nutria deck. Um, deck profile coming to you guys. I've actually. Pretty sure I've made Nutria is good. <laughs> That's kind of a bold statement, but um, this deck can hold its own against a lot of the meta decks. It's a very, very good deck. It's a, more of a toolbox deck. Um, if you remember. One of my old videos, I had a Nutria deck. It was the first Nutria deck posted on YouTube. Um, back when Nutria first came out. I've always loved the deck, I've always tried to make it good, but really, it's kind of hard, because it's not that. It's a little slow. So, this is kind of an anti meta deck, so. Let's, well, let's get on the deck profile, I'll explain some things as we go. So, Free Cliff, um, the toolbox card of the deck. Uh, this card will miss timing if you synchro or tribute it, just an FYI. That can affect the can wording, kind of ruins it, but it'd be amazing if it didn't say can. Uh, it's an Earth, Rock, 15 attack, 1000 defense monster. When this card is sent to the graveyard, um, summon a nature monster with 100 less attack from your deck. So, really good. So you cycle through these. Um, 3 Pumpkin. Um, it's kind of like your Marauding Cap in the deck. Then you're probably going to say, why not run Rotting Captain? For two reasons. This is level four. Well, three reasons, actually. It's, it's an Earth, and it's a plant. And it's an HRA, so I guess four reasons. Um, when this card is normal summon, if your opponent controls a monster, you can uh, special summon one HRA monster from your hand. So it's instant X Eat or Synchro, etc. And it's got 14 attack, 800 defense. Probably my favorite card in the deck 3 Nature and Maron. Um, card's very underrated. Um, this card is normal summon to pitch one nature. You can send one nature monster from your deck to graveyard, and his other effect is you can send too many trees from your deck. I mean, from your grave to your back to your deck shuffle and draw one card. It's like a mini pot of this. Level three Earth. So probably the best plant tuner. Still, probably the best tuner in my opinion. Is still, um. Available and it's not banned or limited. Three need Tria, uh, Cherries. This card is actually kind of expensive because, again, like I said, it's the only good plant tuner left. Besides Spore, if it's not limited or banned, but then again, Spore is limited. Um, when this card is destroyed by your opponent's card, right? No. When this card is sent to the graveyard by battle or by card effect by your opponent's card, not by you, summon two more of these cards. Checks uh, face down and face down the position. So, disrupt a battle, set two more in defense. So, and it's level one earth tuner. So it works with one for one, and it's an earth. And it's a plant. So, obviously, you cannot run a plant deck without the plant engine. Spore, dandelion, lone fire. That's just it's that good. No need to explain those. Uh, two valors for purposes. And a Gores goes Gores goes good in every deck. Uh the MVP uh, of the deck is uh, Mark of the Rose. It's a snatch deal pretty much. The effect is um it's an equip card removed by one plant monster from your grave to activate this card. Equip it to one monster opponent control. You gain control of that monster till the end of the turn. Then it goes back to your opponent, and then during your next standby phase, you gain control of it again. But typically, you're not going to give it back to your opponent. You're either using this to go for game, or to synchro, tribute, exceed, etc. with it. Two Pot of Duality, because you can only run two. Pot of Avarice. One for one for Spore. Uh, cherries, or if need be, Valor. Um, my Control. Reborn. Dark hole, heavy, staple crap. Double MST to round out the spell cards. The traps, the solemn brigade, uh, solemn double warning, double torrential. If I can find room, I will run this in every one of my sh in my decks. It's just so good. Double B prison. In my opinion, this is better than mirror force. Just saying. Double Compulse, best staple in the game right now. And Double Call of Haunted for Miron and uh, 
Cliff plays. For the extra deck, um, obviously Gore's token. Uh, you run Shooting Star because it's very easy to go into. Scrap Dragon, Stardust, Black Rose, Nitri, Barkeon. A little harder to go into, but it's not that hard because you do run Light Trolls and Mark the Rose. And a lot of the decks right now are Earth. A lot of the meta decks, so. Um, Orient, Librarian, Beast, Cataster. Armory Arm and Formula to run up Synchros. For Xe, they run just the two basic level fours, uh, Pebble Operative and Maestro, and then the basic rank three is Levier and Zidmans. That's the deck, guys. Please tell me what you guys think. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and peace. Dadass.